In this section, we'll be discussing the big rocks of your application. These are the areas of focus that you should be spending the majority of your time as an applicant. These are our big rocks. You and the time and resources that you have to spend on your application represent, are represented by the jar. These rocks are going to be the things that will fill up this jar and ultimately contribute to you being a full and complete applicant. These big rocks add a lot of weight to your application and they take up a lot of space. However, they leave some windows and some gaps. These medium sized rocks can help fill in some of those gaps and they add a good amount of weight, but they can't completely fill up the jar. These small rocks are able to fill in the different nooks and crannies in the jar and allow you as an applicant to be able to be complete and full. Our goal is to get you to combine all these different sized rocks so that way you can have the most complete application. So what are the big rocks? These first three, your GPA, your observation hours, and your GRE scores are things that I refer to as your gatekeepers. They're quantitative measures that schools will use to compare you immediately to other applicants to see if they want to further review your application. For all of these topics, we are going to go into great detail. So don't worry, there's plenty more to come on these. Your letters of reference, your essays, and your interviews, if the school that you apply to has interviews, I'm not saying all do, but a lot of them do, are essential for a school to look at you and see if you're a good fit for their program. It's basically to get to know you and to discover how you will be able to interact with your classmates and to be able to build their brand and be a good physical therapist. medium sized rocks. Unfortunately, there are some people who have negative application experiences because they don't understand the ins and outs of the Physical Therapy Centralized Application System or PTCAS. So we're going to help you learn how to avoid those pitfalls so that doesn't happen to you. Your volunteering extracurricular leadership and research opportunities are going to demonstrate that outside of the big rocks, you still are able to manage and use your time effectively on things that are worthwhile. Now let's look at the small rocks. This may appear somewhat deceiving because I know for me, these are the areas of my life that are most important to me. You cannot allow your health or your relationship with your family and friends to slip. If you have hobbies or things that you like to do to develop and build yourself as a person and you leave those off to the wayside, you are going to feel empty inside and there will be a lot of gaps in you as a person and as an applicant. So our goal is to get you to first and foremost focus on those big rocks. Be able to get those placed in your jar so you can then be able to add all these other layers and allow yourself to be a whole and complete applicant. Now, I don't want you to misunderstand. I want you to spend time with your family, your friends, and your personal interests a decent amount every day. But you're in this period in your life to get into physical therapy school. So we need to prioritize and budget your time appropriately. Focus on those big rocks supplement with the medium sized rocks and then fill in the rest of the gaps with the small rocks. Now let's talk about how you can do that.